Welcome, 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 welcome everybody. Welcome to the media with me, your host, Brian West, here to give you the top eight stories and developing stories that made it throughout the week. And the purpose of this show is to mainly give you an idea of what's happening in the world, the stories that will impact you eventually. If you think you can escape, there's no escape in mediation. You are either in the game or you are sitting on the sidelines, but in mediation, you're always in the game because you're always staying informed. If you want to contribute in any way, you can go to the M-E-T-H-O-D, the number eight, I-N-C.com, methodating.com during the show like i said you can sponsor a program you can buy something click on something watch something or just read something if you want to uh let, let me first give you the disclaimer this is the show where i highlight the top eight stories that are only documented for records and to highlight topics for those in the business of talk radio talk media and those who just want to stay informed and i'm about to get to the top eight stories in a second and uh, if uh, i was just talking to uh one of the guys in here and he was talking about uh, sponsorships and radio there's some things i'm going to discuss on the show today that may um may it, it may ruffle some feathers but i'm going to lay it all out because this is the this is the country of the home and the brave and there's some things happening in the news and across the world and uh there's there's, there's top a stories but these top a stories are, are 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 pretty uh intense because of the fact that they deal with a culture that um uh, that can't go unnoticed because people are people are wondering why nothing's happening, and uh, that's that's the purpose of this of why the top eight stories actually made it because they were top eight that that I feel would would change the the, the course and 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 where the direction where we're headed. There's a lot of things happening in the news, and there's a lot going on. So uh, I think it's only wise and be fitting. Like I said, if you want to contribute in any way during the show. Uh, any any little bit helps. Uh, I was I I hate to say I'm, I'm from the minority community. Uh, there is not a, there's not a lot of money flowing. If you do not know my my bloodline stems from stems from slavery. I have a little bit Indian in me. I have a little bit Caucasian. I'm, I'm but I'm predominantly I'm African American. So if you want to help out in any way, you can go. I've been I've been doing radio for a very long time. But um, uh, the, the guy was telling me about uh, why don't I find sponsors. And I, was, I was just telling him, I was just honest with him. I said, I've, I've played this game long enough to know how it works. And in the independent world, if you're not getting corporate or you're, you're not buddy-buddy with a bunch of, of, of rich gurus, I come from a very poor family uh, who do, and, and I come from a very poor background. If something happens to me, my whole family is wiped out. I'm just being honest with you. But that's what the main topic of, of today's discussion is mainly, will, will the eight top, the eight stories that made it in will mainly gear in that direction. Because right now you, you have to look at the, the facts in these top eight stories is what would happen if, if you eliminate the support system, if you eliminate the United States, if you eliminate police, if you eliminate the public service, if you eliminate the government. So these are the things that we're going to discuss, the, the main point of, of conversation. Like I said, if you want to contribute in any way, you can go to our website, you can buy something, click on something, or just sponsor a program. Um, you're, like I said, it, this, the website is www.method, the number eight, inc.com, method com and uh we're in the business of theater media videos movies music publishing consultants we do it all i'm at 5648 market street in borman ohio i've been doing this for a very long time there's some other community things that i mentioned during the during the program we have a movie premiere coming up we have this movie premiere every year it's a fundraiser for the community all the funds stay in the local community i've been doing this for a long time i've devoted my whole life to public service so if anybody wants to help out the least you can do is uh give some of your time i'm at 5648 market street uh I, I, we, that's just what we do. Um, we have a movie premiere. It's November 18th. It's at the Holiday Inn from 6 to 8 p.m. Actors playing the movie. They can go to the website, view things. Everything is up to date. I've tried to make things as simple as possible, less complicated. You go to some websites. You have to log in. You have to do things. So if you want to contribute anyway, now it's time to get to the top eight stories that made into the media this week. I don't want to waste any more time. We have to get through them. The topic of voting. Is, 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 is story number one that made it to the media, the topic of voting and why it is such a big issue. There's been some things happening in the voting field and people, it's sad because it's a, a representative democracy, a republic, uh, it's kind of mixed with every form of government you can think of. They even got time banking. This country has got everything that you need to make it work. And people are concerned about the voting system. This story crept its way in because we're so close to the midterms. But people in power, folks, listen to me. People in power, that means other countries, uh, when you talk about cyber warfare and infiltrating the voting system, some people are worried. So this story made it in. They are blocking 
some some states are vo are blocking foreign web traffic and they're, it's making it harder for U.S. citizens who live overseas to vote. People, you know what what kills me about uh, this show today is, is is I'm just gonna lay it out. You have all these global issues. You have immigration problems. You have criminals in almost every state. But people are pe one one thing I've learned. I, I come from a very very hard community. It's, it, it was it was it's almost like Chicago where you have people. It's a jungle. It's a jungle. So you have people who migrate to the United States. Almost everybody in this country, except for the Native Americans, have have got some type of immigrant blood in their body. You could either be a Jew, you could have come, you could have come from the pilgrimage, and it's, it's amazing because we're getting close to Thanksgiving. You could come from any part, but people come here for comfort. They come here to, 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 to flourish, to, to better themselves. But there are some issues that have been laid out on the table that's being always in the hands of government. Government. How, what can government do for me? Government. You have, there's some other stories that made it in here this week. But then you have all these other, uh, I'll, I always like to call them people who just, it, criminology is a rough field. The Justice Department is banged up. They can't figure out why people can't keep their hands off something that's not theirs. Or why do people always want, or, or no one wants to confess when they do something wrong. I'm a, I'm not a perfect person, but I but I've I've served. I've seen a lot of crazy things in my lifetime. Things that I can't explain. I've seen fights. I've seen innocent girls getting beat up in the in the ghettos of the of the United States. I've seen black people killing each other. I've seen whites doing. I've seen blacks and prejudice. I've seen Latinos doing. But at the end of the day. You have a choice to make. And this is what we have to learn in, a, in a, a representative democracy because if we don't get it together soon, you have labor fields where they cannot find workers. But story number one is about voting. And they, they're, they're talking about how the system, some people feel the system is rigged. People in poverty. Some people who've never touched a book in their entire life. They're complaining. They don't feel like there, there's no need to vote. They're against politicians. You look at, you talk to a politician, they're always trying to find out something that works. Something that works. But in reality, the, the world perceives them as the enemy. Or when, when the money dries up and, and they're out of ideas, people always blame or want to uh, throw anger at the government. This is, this is a representative, this is probably one of the best nations that has that have ever i mean you've got people you've got you've got a country that stemmed from from slavery i mean uh, all of the craziness back then it was brutal back then we have everything at our fingertips now nobody wants to work nobody wants to go out and vote the midterm election is coming up you go to the average citizen you say uh uh who's on the ballot oh f that man you know my dog is on that no this is a reality, folks. This is a representative democracy. I've seen, I've seen sailors coming back with no fingers and stuff. Mediation is going to be tough today, folks. Because there's some things that I've seen people, you look in these sailors' eyes, I don't care where they came from. When, the, when something happened, something blew up, they, they look like they've seen the face of God. And I guarantee you talk to a veteran, they appreciate every little bit of, of, of pleasure, every little bit of love they can get. But there's no love right now. There's some other things going on with the voting thing. A, a, a Missouri judge, he's uh, I guess he said uh, states can no longer tell voters that they must show ID. They're trying to make it convenient. I mean, do we got to beg people to get to the polls? You, should, you, go, you take this stuff... Some kids don't even listen to the radio. They're too busy walking it out. You got you got radio hosts and people all over the media, uh, living and breathing for to die for a good cause. You got lazy ass Americans who can't even get up and 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 do something. You got these kids that have no vision. This is reality, folks. And there's some things that's gonna happen in media. I, I mean, cause cause there, this, this, somebody's gotta pay the bills. If the government can't pay up, somebody's going to have to pay the bills. And you wonder why there's bodies everywhere. There's a real. This, 
This ain't about no, uh, oh, big, you got all these big time reporters, uh, uh, rappers spilling his guts out in the White House, trying to, trying to make some sense of what's happening, even in Chicago, gang violence. This is a jungle. We, we are human beings, we're animals with intellect. We can never be civilized. There's even some stuff in a story that made in here about the Middle East. Like I said, it's, it's going to get hot in mediation today. It's going to get hot. Because I, 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 I'm, pay, I'm paying my dues. This is an independent radio broadcast. I'm putting in work. And somebody's got to, like I said, the guy, he asked me, he says, oh, Brian, you find I said, no, I'm not looking. You know, if, if, if non-profits... People who do their, their work out of out of goodwill have got to continue to beg for money. When you see all these greedy, uh, uh, greed corporations, every, I mean, money just being wasted. What is a lady a few weeks ago? You talk about voting. She's they, You got all these kids, all these newcomers, dreamers, whatever you want to call them. They got no money. They're showing up to political meetings, begging for some something to happen in their community, wondering why you give all this money to an 0 16 team in Cleveland. But you can't even, you, babies can't even find some type of a good drinking water. They got to go, they can't even afford spring water no more. They, they, and they're afraid to drink public water. This is a reality. I'm going to ruffle some feathers in mediation day because some people are getting fed. And some people are getting paid. And I'm one of them. And I'm hungry. I've been hungry since I came on this planet. If you want to contribute in any way, M-E-T-H-O-D, the number 8, I-N-C.com. I'm going to talk, I can talk to the day I, I, I fall out and die. Because I'm working. And I'm lifting weights. I, I'm supposed to be a disabled veteran. I got, I got all types of medical issues. But I'm putting in work, folks. And that's how you got to survive. Sometimes you got to sacrifice your body. Tons of veterans have came in line before me. Tons of them. Some of them didn't even get to see the light of day. But they got to, But when you see people, oh, I'm just going to get on my knees and uh, for, the, for the national anthem. I'm just going to. Uh, nothing's going to happen. I'm going to get become a big, big fame celebrity, go around, sell books, and just eat, eat. Big money coming in. They love me. This is a two-party system. But there's some real stuff going on the ground, folks. And this ain't ground zero. This is the mediator. If you want to contribute anyway, M-E-T-H-O-D, number 8, I-S-E.com. You can buy something, watch something, click on something, or you can sponsor a program. Sponsorship is cheap. It's pennies. And I'm a black man, broke, spending all my money on the community that has nothing but a hope and a prayer. Football team got beat, and all you hear is sportscasters, we can do it, we can do it. Can't find recruits, can't find recruits. That's because the people are on drugs. They're listening to bang, bang music every freaking day. But when it's time to get up and, and get to work, Story number two, voting is a big thing. That was the story number one. Voting is a big thing. If you want to contribute in any way, as you can see, uh, there's there's a fight going on on in, on ground in, on the ground. And if the mediator's got to lead his way into the fight, I'm getting the troops and I'm ready. I don't care if I got to go into battle by myself. If I got to hit this mic up every Sunday with my little bitty paycheck. I got little bitty money. And you got all these billionaires happening. I'm, I'm sitting there watching them smiling and gri gribbing. And, oh, we're making it. We're making it easy. The rich get richer, the poor get poor. Well, I'm a poor man that needs to eat, folks. And I'm hungry. And it's getting greedy in mediation today. I'm getting greedy because I'm seeing all the injustice. I'm seeing all the stupidity. Reporters coming out of the White House. Oh, it's such embarrassing. We've got the president. Oh, people in Florida, floods everywhere. The president's in here talking wasting his time oh it's i'm gonna talk i said they may they may not like me after that some people may some people may but the, but if i were to lie to you as a mediator i'd be I'd, I'd be lying i'd like to stay in the middle because there's a reality going on on the ground folks there's a reality and the computers are counting everything's run by system now i'm a i'm a living witness there are no mistakes that can be made in this new environment i live breathe and i'm i'm counting numbers every day I got to count my money. I got in a bad marriage. She tried to take me for everything I had. And I'm a veteran with nothing. I had nothing left. All I had was all my all the public money that I had. These women are grimy, folks. There's some truth that's going to be there. And everybody's trying to make a buck. Everybody. 
You go to the, the slums. If you were raised in the slums, that's what you see. Greed. People have these life dreams of wanting to be on stage with a guitar. Nobody wants to get educated. Everybody's mind is focused on bucks. Nobody knows how the system works. Somebody does, but they're not telling. Or they're not, they're not teaching good enough. Story number two. And that's why people are feeling like they're being cheated out of their votes. That was story number one. Like I said, if you want to contribute anyway, I don't want to get off topic. We're almost, we're getting through it, but I got to get through these stories. Story number two that made it in. Uh, you may you may want to pay attention to your uh, medications and your vitamin supplements. Story number two, this story crept in. Because the, the medical industry that was founded off witchcraft, pharmaceuticals. I'm on meds. Everybody's on meds. And they're mixing them with Viagra. Yeah. <coughs> God. The FDA has identified 746 supplements, products, that were pharmaceutically adulterated from 2007 to 2016. Everybody's trying to make a buck. Men are trying to please every woman. They're getting their rocks off. Nobody wants to pay the bills. Nobody wants to take care of the children after the woman gets pregnant. I mean, there's even stories in here that I got about women. Oh, God, when you talk about motherhood, women don't even want to take care of their bills. Everybody wants to go out and do the juke joint. I mean, if, if I were an adult right now, I'd be gluing my kids' ears to what's really happening. Say, so you want to get, you want to go out, you better, you better cut this grass. Look at what's happening. Look at this global environment. Look at these Chinese people under communist rule who don't have the freedom to get out and cut the damn grass. This is reality. I'm chewing some, I'm chewing some ass today. Oh, I'm feeling it. Mediation, like I said, if, if, the, if I were the stock market right now, I'd probably be fluctuating because we're, we lost 800 points this week and I'm, and I'm, getting, I'm getting greedy because I'm seeing I'm putting in work and I want to get paid so I can pay the bills. So I can do what I was, what God put me on this earth to do, and that was mediate, folks. Oh, and keep your eyes on the recalls, folks, because some supplements can have dangerous interactions. This is story number two. Prescribed medications, bad interactions from, I mean, this is, you got to think. There's been an estimated 23,000 U.S. citizens in the emergency room because of bad drugs. I seen it myself when a, a nurse messed up and gave somebody the wrong drug, and next thing you know, they're hyper ventilating or shaking on the ground and oh, oh and obamacare premiums they say are getting cheaper folks what a doctor won't tell you they uh, it, uh, what a doctor is trying to tell you is stop drinking stop smoking hit the gym get in shape because we're tired of prescribing you and you're not listening that's what a doctor really wants to say is, oh you i'm going to take your insurance money because you're not taking care of yourself President Trump signed a bill aimed at increasing customer awareness, awareness about drug prices. Oh, that's really going to do. That's I, I wish the damage is done. I mean, the damage is done. People are getting drunk. They're getting high. The pain medicine is rolling in. The doctors are taking Hippocratic oath. They're, they're, they're exhausted, riding around. They're getting paid. Nobody wants to hit the books. It's too tough to be a doctor. It's too tough to do the right thing. That's why people are going. People are just jumping. I said in mediation, I may ruffle some feathers today, folks. But if I if I wasn't truthful, if I couldn't be honest on the radio, what, what would I be doing for you as a mediator? If you want to contribute in any way, M E T H O D number eight I N C dot com methodating dot com. If you're if you want to put your money to good use, somebody who will do the right thing. I don't see any money in my organization. Because I, I use my own money. I've been doing it for 12 years. I've mentored my entire life, all for the good of mankind. If you want to contribute in any way, M-E-T-H-O-D, the number 8, I-N-C.com. And I'm a black man. How, how about, I mean, how, how happy do you want to hear? Do you want to just see me say it? Do you want to see me just uh, talking about in this, in that, my, my in, in this, and calling my br fellow Americans Negroes and, and hunkies? Is that what people want to see? This is what this is why people are getting fed up. They're doing the right. You got all these kids aspiring to be great. And they're watching people who, who've done nothing their entire life but do negative things get rewarded. That's child behavior 101. You don't reward children for bad behavior. 
I mean, what is this? This is ass backwards. Well, let me keep my composure. Like I told you, mediation could be tough, folks. The mother issue. Story number three that made into the media this week. Child trafficking in Indonesia where mothers who do not want their parents finding out about them getting pregnant are selling babies on Instagram. They have 700 followers. The site has been shut down. The site was providing ultrasound images, pregnant mothers and babies with their faces blurred out. They had tags on their baby's number, gender, age, and religion, along with contact numbers, auctioning off their children because they did not want to face the consequences. People want to have sex. People want to get laid. People want, but they do not want to face the consequences. I've seen it my entire life. You go to where I come from. There are women afraid of the consequences. Some of them are loose. They have what they call the itch. They want to go out. And as soon as somebody comes in the room and say, what did you do? Nobody wants to pay up. Put them on the government payroll. Their minds are trained to live off of the government. <clears throat> Some, uh, this is, they've even got, I mean, you live in a country where they've even got acts. They've got an act, a mother act of 2017, the lactation rooms at airports where they're allowing mothers to breastfeed in airports. This is the only country that caters to their citizens. Gives them everything they want. Primetime TV, sports arenas, big time. You can be big time. The dream, the American dream. People are killing themselves. And every, you go to Chicago, my, my, you know, all of this gang violence over what? A government currency that most people do not know anything about. Drugs. I haven't even got to the, uh, the, the the White House visit yet. Oh, this is reality, folks. I, I, I don't see uh, hippies can't even handle this. They, 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 uh, you you won't see no Woodstock in this. There, people are people, there's no peace in this, folks. This is reality. That's that's what that's the toughest thing about mediation is is you got to face reality. Somebody wants something out of the deal, whether they're from the right or the left. Somebody wants something to feed themselves. It's, it's reality. If you want to contribute in any way, M E T H O D number eight I N C dot com, method dot com. There's even a uh, there's even they're even talking about vaccinations. There's people do not trust the healthcare system. Some there's there's a one point three percent of kids have not been born who have been born I guess in 20, 2015 did not get vaccinated by age two. In 2001, only 3.3% of kids aged 19 to 35 months have received no vaccinations, vaccines. People do not trust. They do not trust. That some of them don't even, have the, don't even have the intellect to understand why their child needs to get vaccinated. People wonder why things are just out of control. Nobody understands anything. There has been a rise in C-sections across the world. If you do not know what a C-section is, uh, it's where the mother, she's cut at the, at the center and she's not, the baby doesn't come through. But they say that there's, there's, there's some things that, there's a lot of complications that come along with C-sections and motherhood. Motherhood made it, the motherhood issue made it to story number three. If I, but like I said, I'm moving along today. I got to get through this. But this is, this is what's happening. Things are changing. And a lot of people are saying people, and there's just a lot of ignorance and a lot of stupidity out there. And they, they're even talking about, there's even evidence when babies are born by C-section that they have a different hormonal, physical, bacteria, medical exposure. I mean, all types of birth defects. I mean, it's, it's, it's just the reality that and things are, things are changing. And, and and back in the day, a mother would deliver a baby. They'd have a medic. She, they'd come. It wouldn't even be a medic. Sometimes they'd have to deliver the baby themselves. Kids would grow up hardcore. I mean, old school, old school, strong. Women, women cooking clean. 
I mean, now they got robots. People are, I mean, pornography is big. I mean, people are just getting pleasure. Story number four real quick because we're at the halfway point. I got to get through this. But I told you there's going to be, there's 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 a plane, there's a, a lot that can only be it can only be solved by the the common thinker to actually start thinking for themselves. There's an old saying that if if a, if a child does a hundred push-ups a day, there's a good chance that that child is going to grow up strong. If a child sits on his complete ass all day doing nothing, pardon my language, doing nothing, doing nothing, nothing constructive, there's a chance that they may have some some type of defects when they grow up. They may not understand. Nothing is auto. See, we've been on automatic. Oh, you you have children, people pay for them. You do this, people pay for them. You you listen to a song, no consequences. Uh, you, you get this, take, 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 take. Story number four. What's getting done in the war between Democrats and Republicans? Folks, let's hope people are learning something with this battle that's been going on between Democrats and Republicans. And it, it, it's a battle because midterms are right around the corner. Politicians are fighting for, the, for a job. They have to feed their families. And the political arena is getting no, no, it's, it's, getting, it's not getting easier. That's how the system works. You elect people into, into position. You feel like they can do the job. They go, they have to find government funding, they have to find businesses, they have to cater to those who have something for the betterment of the people within their community. That's the game of politics. And the founding fathers were afraid of, of, of too much power. They were afraid of, of, of they, 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 they dissected every, they were getting away from the king and queensmanship where people were getting their head chopped off. They wanted to make a government where, where everybody could coexist. Owned slaves, they had a problem, but they weren't. Slavery has been Egyptians owned slaves. They, ha, if you do not understand slavery, slavery was brutal. It was bad. It has always been bad. It's never worked. People have. If you don't understand the 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 the, the economic benefit of slavery, why these big time folks use slavery as a way to build something. But there's a battle going on because there's one group of people saying we've been cheated out of, out of we don't have anything. We, you, you put us in this position. Minorities, people who come to this country with, not, with a hope and a prayer. And, and, and the reality is, is that people keep going. They, they, go, to these, they go to this justice. Uh, you, you see police brutality, things happening. There's a miscommunication. There's always a disconnect between, between fields. Of, of what's happening, the, the reality of the situation is that Republicans and Democrats are always affected by what's happening on the home front. Because there's things going on all across the world. Everybody wants a piece of the pie. You got the health care issue. People want to, the only reason I can honestly say why Obamacare got passed is because it was able to accommodate to those who did not have, even though there was a mandate on it. Poor people have been in existence forever. But you but you live in a system where I mean the, the system is designed. You have if, if if they're not getting fed, go to the nonprofits, figure out what these people these people are getting grant money. I've been able to do this for 12 years all by myself. I've had actors come and go. I've only had two employees for 12 years. It was Mission Impossible. It's still Mission Impossible. And you got all these elected officials eating off the can. Get, I mean, they get primetime exposure. What can you do? What can you do? To, what they really want to say is, there's nothing I can do if you don't have anything for me. If you can't give me a vote. If you're not paying your taxes, the reality is that somebody's got to pay the bills. If you're not working, if you don't have a lawnmower, if, 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 if we're giving the nonprofits money, we can't just be giving everybody candy cane and, 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 and cotton candy. The reality is, is people got to work for their keep in a, in a representative democracy. That's the only way it can survive. 
And people wonder why Obamacare got passed. Because, because there's some people who need their meds. Some people who need medication. Some people who do not have health benefits who are saying we need a we need a re restructure. We got to restructure our mind thinking because we can't keep living off the government. Corporations don't want to pay. They don't want to pay for employees who have smoking problems. That's what they won't tell you. They don't want all the baggage. The Republican agenda may be too strong for some people and the Democrat agenda may be too weak. But there's a real I mean the, the honest reality is, is that if you do 100 push-ups if you if you read a book if you if you try to do something with your time that's constructive there's a good chance that something will come out of it you may not be rich but you will have something to feed to the next generation you may give your family some value some type of some type of decency Democrats are trying to block uh, billions of U.S. dollars because of a, a Saudi incident. Now, the Saudi Arabia is considered an ally. That's what I, that's, I haven't even got to story number five yet. We're, we're halfway through. See, the CIA, um, they're, they're basically, this, the CIA has even been in some headlines. They're, they're doing it. These guys are working hard, folks. The gov I mean, the government, intelligence communities are working hard to protect the homeland. Citizens are going to have to step up to the plate, get to work. All this, all this pampering has got to stop. So we've got to pay up, folks. We've got to get to work. People are saying they need, we got, they got jobs. Nobody, I mean, I'm, I'm just, I'm supposed to be a disabled veteran. I had to learn how to do everything over again. If you want to know my story, I, I had to learn how to use my brain functions all over again. And I still want to work. I'm still hungry. If something happens to me, my mother, she'll probably, something, uh, who knows? The sink will just ship. This, this, I'm sorry, the ship will sink. And billionaires, billionaires are just wasting money. They're pouring in millions to the mid and the and the billionaires, folks, with all this money. They don't know what to do with it. They're just giving money for a blue wave. Give it, give it to the tax system so we can get this government out of debt. Forget a blue wave. If you want to give money away, pay it, pay it to the government. Get taxed. Do something with the money. Everybody's looking for a return on their investment. That's the reality. Capitalism is, is, is if you want to see corruption and chaos and, and craziness, that's what capitalism is. People are screaming ethics. Folks, it, I, you know, I've seen drug babies. I've seen things in my life I can't explain. I've seen uh, good good people get destroyed by drug dealers and capitalism. Go to prison for a few months, come out and do the same thing over again. Build another empire. Impreg impregnate somebody's some little innocent boy's girlfriend. This is a if you what is that? This is America. Don't get you slipping on. Don't get you slipping on. That's what this this is a it, this ain't no racial thing. Wait, come, they, they, uh, story number five that made it in. Why the why is race issue? Why is race such a big problem, folks? You you. I, I was raised in the black community. I was raised in the inner city. Gang violence, cousins, people dodging bullets, drive-bys. I lived in Chicago, burning little children. Gangs everywhere. Calling each other the N-word every day. I mean, you hear it out of everybody's mouth. No decency whatsoever. People that stem from royal blood just turn into complete heathens. And that's the reality. I don't care about Colin Kaepernick or Kanye West visiting to the White House. Folks, the reality is there's some things going on in the inner city. Some things that you may never see in your entire life. Their mind is trained with a jungle mentality. People who stem from nothing, from poor, who have any poor person will tell you when you when you when you don't have any type of stable thinking, stable life, and you see that mommy cannot pay up, she herself has got to get fed by by a government dollar. She finds a job. Next thing you know, she's losing a job because some factory is getting out of town because they. 
This is about money. It's always been about money. Money, greed, and capitalism. And, and people, are, they're always looking for the government for the problem. The solution is, is the only way you're going to get out is you have to, you have to, you have designed your mind. You have to find a way. You have to go out, find resources. If they turn you away, you have to go at their door. You have to tell them, hey, I know you're, get you have to educate yourself. Libraries on every corner. You got to, I, I hate to put down rappers. I hate to, but if you look at hip hop and how it has changed, folks, it is a mess. Hip hop started out liberating people in the streets, giving them a voice. You had Run DMC, KRS One. You had all these. Uh, I mean, you back in the day, you never heard the N word in hip hop. You never heard it. Never heard it. Now you got half naked women bouncing all up and down on the screen. I'm, everybody's guilty. We've all seen it. No type of decency whatsoever. Booty popping all over the place. And what you expect, you expect to go to the White House, which was built by ancestors that, that, that liberated, that, that had to fight for everything that they ever had. They didn't even want to give them a Martin Luther King Day, for God's sakes. It's embarrassing. A country that was built off greatness. Greatness. From sea to shining sea. I'm not kneeling for my national anthem. I'm standing up. Story number five was, the, like I said, the, the race issue is degrading America. It's making this country look look like a like a complete a mess. I served in the United States. Ex, the United States excellent Navy. Excellence was every day. If something happened, you would die on the job. I'm not. I'm not. I don't have PSD. I'm talking the reality. You make a mistake in the United States Navy, that was it. Any of my brothers on the battlefield will tell you. Tell you. you just stand up for the flag, that was it. You had push-ups. You had to go to the brig. Old school. Punishment. Loyalty to God and country. It was. It's, it's, there's no heathen in that. If you weren't in shape, you were, out of the, you were out of the bunch. Now we've got to lower our standards for a bunch of people who don't even take the time to be, to be a good citizen. Do you know how much heat I've had to take for carrying that American flag on my back all my entire life? I've had, co I've had family members 20 years, 22 years Navy chief. My dad served. He's got no legs. He can't even walk now. My grandfather served in the Air Force. Ke my Uncle Kevin, 22 years on a job. I told you I was going to ruffle some feathers today, folks, in mediation. This is reality. Yeah, this is America. Little Wayne concert in Atlanta ends in mayhem. <clears throat> folks, as a brother, as a brother to the white man, a brother to the black man, a brother to the Latinos, a brother to the sisters, a brother to the, to the Muslims, a brother to the Christians, if I were to come to you and lie to you and tell you do not to, to, to not try to better yourself, or if I went to a girl and told her to give me some legs, because all I wanted to do was bless her and leave her, leave her with, with my own children with nothing, because I don't have anything. I've always tried my best to tell people the honest to God truth. I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to get over on people in, media, in the mediator. I've never, I, all, all my years I've done radio, I've always tried to be as honest and straightforward as possible. I've seen some things in my life. I almost died, I almost didn't, I said I almost lost my whole brain power on the battlefield. The, the doctors, the doctors would tell you. It doesn't make me greater than anybody else. I'm not better than anybody else. But the reality is, is if I, if I were not to tell you the truth, that song wake up everybody no more sleeping in bed it's time for thinking ahead do i gotta take it back to the lean on me days i mean this is this is this is what we i mean even in, in every religion they will tell you that a person without a religion is a, is a dangerous person no moral standing 
You have geniuses who have embraced the art of music trying to be politicians. The game of politics is dirty. On the battlefield is a dirty game. Story number five, we're going through. We're 45 minutes into mediation. If you want to contribute anyway, that was story number five, the race issue. The race issue is messing up America, folks. It's messing up. You got people taking credit for history. I mean, people jumping on the jumping on the bandwagon, uh, Democrats. I mean, people just using race as if it's a big thing. Papers were signed years ago. Years ago. To stop uh, even at the abolitionist movement. People died in that war. Now we've just reached a breaking point where people are just doing stupid things. Just stupidity. Christianity has become a joke. Jesus has become a way for everything to be okay. <laughs> Ask some church folks. Nobody, nobody cares anymore. Nobody wants to do the right thing. You go into the inner city, you go to the average preacher, he will tell you. Uh, do you, do you have uh, any, uh, 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 I, I even talked to my dad today. I said, dad, are you, uh, is the church paying you for all the work you've done and you can't, you know, you don't, you, no, they don't have much. Um, uh, Jesus is coming. He's going to help us all. He's going to do it. I hope, I, I'm, I'm praying for my dad because he's trying to, he's trying to make for all the wrong, even, even the right. But he's, but it, the, the reality is life, life ain't fair right now, folks. And people who have not been getting fed are coming up to the tables. Let's get through this real quick. If you want to contribute any, any way to the mediator, M-E-T-H-O-D, the number eight, I-N-C.com, methodinc.com. The website. If you're listening, if you're listening, I, I, I thank you for listening. If you've turned off the radio, went to go play with the kids and and uh, living it up, that's fine too. But pretty soon you're gonna have to pay. If you want to contribute in any way, method number eight inc dot com. We're located at fifty six forty eight Market Street in Borman, Ohio. It is our mission as a, it has my, been my mission as an independent arts company to try to educate everybody who has come in that business. I mean, I've done consulting, movies, theater, I mean, media, performance specials, web consultants. I've taken all, every bit of everything I've learned from mentors, preachers, college professors, naval, I mean, naval admirals, naval captains. I've taken all of my bit, bit of education and put it back into the community. I've seen people invest their money in, in ridiculous things, ridiculous things, and I've watched it. I have no problem with music. I have no problem with artists, but but these entertainers, they have no clue what they're getting into. They even have a Taylor Swift is even uh, trying to endorse some some uh, Democrats. Folks, there's a reality going on, and playtime is over. Playtime is over. I'm serious. I if If... if if we don't get it together, if we don't get back to work, if we don't start building and rebuilding, the government cannot cannot possibly fund and, and take care of everything. We cannot be a socialist. We cannot expect a 70 year old man who, who, who he himself is sometimes. I mean, the, the guy, he can't even find a state trooper who can who can uh, escort his car because people are throwing up the finger. It's amazing. If you want to contribute anyway, M-E-T-H-O-D, the number 8, I-N-C.com. We have a movie premiere. That's a community thing that we're doing. It's uh, November 18th. If you want to come out and meet some actors, 6 to 8 p.m. It's at uh, the, the Boardman Holiday Inn. If you want to come out and meet uh, some of the people who, who have been involved in Method 8 over the years, we have actors. I can't say it. It's all been in vain. I can't complain. We've had some great things happen. Tickets are only $5. Uh, there'll be a 50-50 raffle. All the money goes back into the community. I see none of that money. Public servant. I've, I've, I've devoted my entire life to public service. Yeah, I've been down and out, still get back up, and still devoted. Still, I've seen people spit on veterans, Vietnam War. I've seen veterans. Brian, what are we going to do? We're not getting paid. I, I mean, I, I tell them. It's rough out here. It's a jungle. Story number six. But every dog has a day, folks. Story number six is made into many, the mediator. All eyes are still are still on the Middle East. They killed a journalist, uh, Jamal. I forget what his uh, last name is. I think it's um, Kuseji. Uh, I think it's uh, Jamal. Jamal. He. Oh God, uh, where is his last name? I, I can't remember. But he. He. Um, 
they they don't know where he's at. He's, he's Saudi Arabia. If you don't remember, Saudi Arabia was the Saddam Hussein war. We went over there. We toppled Saddam. We uh, put some some different guys in the Middle East. Just has been a mess. Anybody will tell you if you don't know anything about that war, it has it, it's not it's not even about religion anymore. It's about principality. They are fighting for territory. Some dictator rises up, another one. You kill one, another one rises up, and and even in Gaza, there's been some stuff about Hezbollah and Israel. Because Israel claimed that the Islamic militant group had, I guess they were launching missiles at a facility and, and they're trying to get them to stop. Six Palestinians shot dead by Israeli forces. And even uh, uh, there was another protest, uh, 140 Palestinians wounded. 14,000 Palestinians claims that they're, they're all been... Something's happened. They, they were burning tires, throwing rocks, grenades. Gaza has 2 million residents that are being disrupted in this chaos. Some of them don't even have electricity. They have them for four hour, for electricity for four hours a day. Unemployment is at 50%. And tap water is what they call unpotable. Nikki Haley, who favored Israel using force, resigns. People just can't take it anymore. Leaders are just giving up. And they say that this is all because of an unresolved ceasefire. <coughs> missing the the missing journalist the, the missing journalist thing, this is just another tip off the hat. No matter what we do in the Middle East, I mean, it ne ne nothing ever seems to work. Fighting over the Holy Land. And, and some people wonder why people become atheists. You know, I, I I hate to say this, but if God if God is who he says he is, I believe. I believe in a, I believe in a God. But I honestly feel that he says, you know, mercy. I've given them sports. I've, I've given them a chance to be athletes. I've given them a chance to be anything they want to be on that planet. Some people just don't make the right choices, folks. Third world countries, they don't have enough money to feed their families. But people even in America can't even get it together. Human, a, a human problem in life that just doesn't make sense. <clears throat> There's even a U.S. student, I guess, uh, she's, a, she's in some trouble in Israel. They're telling her that uh, just because she has some views in support of the Palestinian boycott, that she can't even leave. This is, like I said, I, I don't know who wins out of this deal. I don't know how it ends. Let me get to the top two stories that made it to the media this week. One thing I can say, story number seven <clears throat> is about special needs people. It was a story that touched me. It was a, a West Virginia restaurant that created a Braille menu for a blind customer. Highway 55 burger shakes and fries and it was in Huntington. They noticed... Uh, I guess her name was Lisa Blankenship. She was always coming into the restaurant, had somebody read the menu for her. And, uh, and she, they, they gave her a Braille menu. And they, they, they did that for a customer. She said a lot, a lot of more businesses need to be that way. Uh, maybe a lot of more, but special needs people, they don't, most special needs people, my grandfather was special, never complained. Sat in the room, took it. He had a bad leg. I always tell people there's nothing there's nothing wrong with being special. Because you look at people who claim to have all the sense in the world, they can't even seem to get it. Nothing wrong with being special. I had an autistic kid, couldn't find a girlfriend. He had needs, he told me. He was a, a brother. He wasn't, like I say, we talked. He said, Brian, I would like a girlfriend. He loved, he loved, he, loved, he liked the Shania Twain, tell me all the time. Little Maddie, I don't know, I'll probably give him a call later on, but... He just, he just tell me, you know, I want to live a normal life. Couldn't live a normal life. Appreciate everything. Inspiring. It's, it's, there's some inspiring stories out there. Mediate, the mediator is not always about bad stories, but there's some inspiring stories out there. But special people with special needs, they, they, they don't have arms. They don't have, I, I've seen soldiers like that. Don't have, I, I watched a soldier, Stively. I'll never forget him. His wife, he, he was upset about his wife and kids. The guy wanted to commit suicide. He lost his legs. Had to find some inspiration and get up every morning. Special needs people is what's going to save this country, folks. They are. 
Cause they 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 there was even a guy I used to watch on videos on online. He had no arms, no legs. I mean, the guy just had so much charisma. He'd get up, try to work out, try to do things. Helen Keller. It's, there's just some special people out there who will they'll they'll even be willing to die. They don't have anything, but they they make people with all their limbs, all their brain functions, all their sense of reality. They make us they make us really uh, understand that. We have to be humble in this life. That's the reality of radio. <laughs> Every radio host comes in and they they don't they they come in with a with a few notes. They come in or they they may have a drink of water on the break and that's about it. They don't know where we're going. All they know is that there's some people who do stupid things and there's some people who do smart things. There's some winners and there's some losers. Let's get to the final story that made it into the uh, media this week. Story number eight. If you want to contribute anyway, M-E-T-H-O-D, number eight, I-N-C.com, method in com. You can buy something, click on something, watch something, or read something. You can contribute in any way, but just go into the website. You don't even have to do much. If you want to sponsor a program, it's only what, I think it's cheap. It's real cheap. I've done this for a long, I, I just go through the stories. If you want to, if there's stories on the website, stories that almost made it. If you want to check them out, the story of climate change will not leave the news. It won't go away. I'm giving my point of views on this, but uh, there's been a lot of weather things going. We, we've got about four minutes left in the meteor, so I'm going to speed this up. We have some things happening in Florida. People right now have nothing. Uh, there's been cyclones in the Middle East. I'm, I'm sorry, Eastern, Eastern, I'm sorry, Eastern India, India. There's a, a, a soldier who gave some of the money that he raised. He donated back. Uh, you had Hurricane Michael, Hurricane Florence. There's been a landslide in Uganda who killed more than 40 people. Tornadoes in uh, Queensland, Australia. Giant mosquitoes with zebra legs. I guess they're emerging in the Carolinas. They even have stinker bugs emerging in the Carolinas now because of all the flooding. People have lost everything. Global temperatures, people are saying, are going to affect men mental health. Uh, the world is changing. Nobody knows if global warming is factual. Some people are saying it's not, but scientists are saying it's real. Uh, we we just it, this is going to be an end of debate. People are want to there's there's an even there's a line because people are saying that the world is getting warmer, but uh, they're they're blaming on green greenhouse gases and they're blaming it on human beings. The truth is that uh, nobody I don't I don't think anybody without with the data. You can you can try to predict that it's global warming. You can say that global warming is real. There's conservatives that will that will battle to the day they die with liberals. Real quick, let me give the local stories. But that was the story number eight. Global warming is staying in the news and it's staying it's staying a hot topic. Uh, there's been some local stories. Former MS consultant official at the heart of a corruption probe in Youngstown. This is, has to do with the mayor and the corruption in the city that's been going on. Manufacturers are complaining about drug problems and shortage of qualified workers, which is creating problems in a really tight labor market. Youngstown is considering two charters, one aimed at banning fracking and using water as weight and wastewater funds for pr private ec economic development projects. And they all want to el eliminate, some of them you want to eliminate term limits for city council mem members and city officials and city presidents. Folks, I want to thank you for uh, tuning into the meter this week. My, my goal today was to inform you, to get you to understand that there is a reality in, in, in this democracy. If, and if we don't get it soon, I, I do not, I, I refuse, I refuse to let my guard down or, or stop right now because, because I believe, I, I believe that, that God made the United States for a reason. I believe that, honestly, I really do. And I, I believe that this country has the potential to go above and beyond the call of duty. But we need volunteers. We always need volunteers. The heart of a champion can never be outdone. Good, uh, that's, that's one thing I can honestly say about doing something good is that you cannot give up. You cannot give up in democracy. It's never been the spirit of an, of an American to say, that's it. We've all, we've all had something that has given us a, a bit of life, even, even when we were hopeless. There's always been something to inspire us in this country. And that, that's, the, that's the benefit of, being, of living in, in a system like this. I want to thank you so much for tuning into the meter this week. Folks, please, please, like I said, always, always try, try your best to, to make this thing work and try to show some love, especially to your fellow Americans. Racism uh, is, 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 is we, we can do this, folks. We can, we can, we can go out, we can vote. 
we can do this the right way. I want to thank you for tuning to the meter this week. I hope I didn't scare anybody, but there's a reality going on out there. Thank you so much for tuning to the meter with me, Brian West. Have a good week, everybody. If you need help, then dial your operator. Have no fear, fellow citizens. The meter is here.